a global pandemic, and months of lockdown. Though I was fortunate to have had a relatively frictionless homebound experience. Still, the soul craves release. Beyond the sweltering heat of the Singaporean weather, the lush, teeming allure of the outdoors calls in invitation. Today, I go out to answer that call. The Central Catchment Nature Reserve, Singapore's Green Lung, affectionately known as Macritchie, is Singapore's largest nature reserve. A 20-kilometer network of trails wind deep into the forests, encircling the waters of the Macritchie Reservoir. My first goal was the treetop walk, an iconic attraction in the reserve. There's a kind of charm to the tropical rainforest. My first love will always be the mountains of Japan, but there's something about the rainforest that just makes it so much more rugged. It's so much denser, it's so much wetter, so that even when you're hiking an easy track, you kind of get a greater feeling of adventure, in a sense, because you know, you're so sticky and the weather is also kind of forbidding and the forest is so dense look I think at this point, most people are not wearing their masks anymore. So the rule is you gotta wear a mask unless you're engaging in strenuous exercise. And I suppose long distance hiking counts as exercise. So I'm gonna take mine off as well. <sighs> Feels much better now. I came to a ranger station, which meant I was getting close to the treetop walk. A macaque and her offspring relaxed nearby, curiously eyeing the passing humans.
So this is the famous treetop walk. The treetop walk is a freestanding suspension bridge connecting the two highest points in Macritchie. The middle portion towers high above the forest canopy, providing a spectacular bird's eye view. Iconic and Instagrammable, the bridge attracts many on weekends. Fortunately, it was a weekday morning and I could enjoy the view at my leisure, but at the expense of some discomfort. It's really hot up here. It's a bit breezier than in the forest, but man, this sun is killer. The views are pretty great though. Ooh, nice to be back in the cover of the forest. Even my camera was starting to overheat. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. The treasures of the tropical forest demand their payment in heat and sweat. Beyond the treetop walk was a series of stairs, both up and downhill. As I walked the well-maintained board trail, the forest was vibrant, wet, and teeming with life. The next landmark loomed overhead, and underfoot, a giant forest ant scudded across the dirt. Jeladong Tower is a seven-deck observation tower that offers an impressive, breezy overlook over the surrounding landscape. A great spot to pause, rest and admire. Oof, I guess not having sunscreen may have been a mistake. But at least it was kind of breezy up there, which felt good because I 
was literally drowning in sweat before. As interesting as the hike had been, the weather grew increasingly inhospitable as midday approached. Oh man, it's really sweltering by now. It's time for this hike to be over. Man. With my hiking itch successfully scratched, it was time to pick up the pace and finish this trail. At the very end, a close encounter with a scaly friend. Thank you. 